Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today at the Spencer Chamber Annual Luncheon. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us and thank you for the flexibility as the, the time and event change. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to start by saying thank you to Sharifa and all of our staff. You've done an excellent job this year in a, in a challenging environment, and we would not have made uh, the gains that we have made without your efforts, so thank you for everything. Uh, my name's Heath Richter. I'm the current uh, chamber chair. Uh, my last day is today. And with me um, to my left is Logan Wood, and he will be your chamber chair for the upcoming year. Um, so thank you for stepping up to become the next chair. Uh, today, we are saying uh, thank you and goodbye to Cindy Tiggis, who has been uh, on the board for six years. We uh, want to extend our gratitude for all of her efforts and, and um, thank you and goodbye, I guess. <laughs> um, one of the things that we've really focused on over the past year is our strategic uh, strategy going forward. Um, the plan has four priorities. The first is the focus on membership. And uh, we had an outside vendor come in and help us develop the uh, strategic plan. And so on the focus of membership, we decided that we wanted to serve the business community as the pre premier membership organization offering unmatched service and support. So over the next three years, we're gonna look at clearly defining and sharing the value proposition of membership with the Spencer Chamber. We're gonna develop new strategies for promoting member businesses, especially offering support to increase competitiveness with virtual shopping platforms. We wanna update the membership due structure, maximizing the return on investment for each member business. And we wanna grow and strengthen the network of resources available to our member businesses. Uh, the second strategic priority that we've determined was operational excellence. We want to align our operational efforts to support a thriving and vibrant chamber. So again, over the next three years, we're going to look at uh, meeting a few goals underneath of operational excellence. The first goal is assess funding systems, proactively identifying opportunities to increase resources and alleviate potential shortfalls. Our second goal is to expand definitions, understanding, and expectations, further clarifying the roles and responsibilities of board members and the executive director. We want to review current staffing structure, employee roles, and job descriptions to propose updates as needed. And we want to complete a contingency planning uh, to ensure the continuity of business during times of crisis. Our third strategic priority is to improve our communication efforts. We want to implement new approaches and ideas to promote the Spencer Chamber, engaging members, partners, and the community. The first goal is to meet with community and regional leaders to help clarify the role of the Spencer Chamber with economic development efforts. The second goal is to fully leverage our social media outlets and technology to share, to share Chamber messages. We would like to identify and encourage community engagement, expanding relationships with Chamber businesses. Our last strategic priority is to increase impact of events and programming. Uh, we want to ensure that the events and programming are value added, cost effective, and meet the specific needs of all of our members. The first goal is to evaluate chamber events assessing effectiveness, attendance, return on investment, and other factors, which recommend updates, enhancements, redesign, and the discontinuance as the research supports. Uh, the second goal is to revise and strengthen programming, and our last goal is to create networking opportunities to connect members with each other and the community, prompting sharing of knowledge and experience while increasing collaboration. So that's our strategic plan for the next three years. Involved with that will be numerous volunteer opportunities for members of our chamber, uh, and we want to continue to grow the business. So with that, I'm going to turn this uh, presentation over to Logan Wood, who's our incoming chair. Thank you. Thank you, Heath. And we'd like to thank Heath for his leadership this past year. Uh, he did a really great job, and so thank you to him. We have two new board members joining us this year, uh, Don Sassman, who's with North Love Spank, and Chris Self with Jack Links. And we'll be doing little short videos here on our social media to introduce 
the entire board, but you'll get to meet them as well since they're not gonna be on video here today. And I'd just like to introduce the rest of our board. We have Kaylee Joint with Stephen Furniture, Kelly Larson with Mill Creek Machining, Mike Carlson with SMU, Patty Schultz, who will be our incoming vice president with Spencer Hospital, and Rod Metering, who is our treasurer with Winter State. Uh, everyone puts in a lot of time and effort, and we really appreciate them being on our board. Uh, up next, we're going to just thank our 25 new members that we had uh, this past year, which was great. We're very excited to have them. Uh, instead of going through this whole list right now for you guys, uh, again, later we'll be on our social media posting out who they are and giving them each a little shout out and doing some videos as the time goes. Um, to really kind of recognize each of those 25 new members. It was great to have them. Thank you. Thank you to all of our current members. We really couldn't do this without you. Uh, so it's very much appreciated to have you part of our chamber. And so with that, he kind of talked about our strategic plan. And part of us doing the strategic plan was really kind of figuring out our identity. And part of that was we decided to change our identity with our logo and brand. And so we're excited to introduce our new logo. Uh, we worked with FA Creative and they worked, uh, did surveys and met with different people of our community to really tie uh, a great logo with a lot of meaning. And so we're excited to share that with you now. And Heath will bring that up for you. Are we ready? I think we're ready. So this is our new logo. Uh, the meaning behind it is a diverse group of connected organizations all pulling in the same direction. And so you can kind of see the veins of the pinwheel that we have there uh, that really kind of bring us together. They make us forward and we're connected. Uh, the colors really pull in tradition, pride, inspiration, community, growth, and stability. And so really, and even the star with the hub, everything was really meaningful we're thankful for F8 for all the work they did. You'll see our logo start to get pulled out uh, into all different marketing pieces as we keep moving forward here. Uh, but it's really part of our strategic plan in finding our identity. And so here it is, and we hope you all enjoy it as much as we do. And then the last point I'm going to hit at on part of our identity update was also we are launching a new website. And our website, uh, we haven't touched it since 2013, so it was time. Uh, with our new logo, it was time to update that as well. But part of really our new website focus was our members. So how can we make it easier for you guys to participate in what we offer? And so some key benefits from our website, you'll be able to pay your bills online. You'll be able to sign up for events, so you won't have to fill out the paper and mail it back. Uh, there'll be easy ability for you to just do that all right there and pay for uh, your sign up as well. Uh, it'll be mobile friendly, so whether you're on your tablet, your phone, uh, or your desktop, everything will be responsive. Uh, so it'd be really easy ability is that where our focus is at there, and so we'll be exciting to launch that here in the next few days. I believe that's when I'm supposed to go. <laughs> but with all that, I'm going to turn it over to Sharifa, and she's going to talk about some new member opportunities. 
Thank you, Heath, and thank you, Logan, and also to the board members who are able to be here today. Also to members of the press who were able to be here and help us get this information out to the community as well as to our members. Um, I'd also like to thank McCreary's Catering. Uh, we are doing a board and staff lunch today. Also to Clay County Conservation for allowing us to use Oneota um, in the cabin here. And to Hen House for the beautiful decorations that they provided. I want to talk a little bit about um, the new membership structure. Um, you may have listened to the radio or read it in the paper or just paid attention to some of our other little drips of knowledge that we've provided through social media. Um, and so we will be providing more of this through social media as well. But you all, as current members, will be getting um, information in the mail later this week or early next week for your membership renewal. And that will include our new membership tiers. And really the goal of this is to provide choices to each of our members. So this year is gonna be important because it's a transition year. So we're going to allow you to choose if you want to continue with the typical or the due structure that we've had in the past, or to go ahead and jump on board with our new membership tier structure. So as that comes out and you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, I will be getting in touch with as many of the members as possible. Um, but we know that this is a transition year. We're gonna be learning um, at the chamber with the staff um, and also wanting to hear from you. Um, what else can we improve on? Um, what else can we provide? And what you'll notice um, in our documents is that we will add information and programs to benefit the membership this year. So we're really excited about that. Um, and like I said, just stay tuned for more information on that. With that, I would like to introduce Will Horsley, who is the County Conservation Director, and he's gonna give us a little bit of an update on efforts out here. Thank you, Sharifa. Um, as Sharifa said, my name is Will Horsley. I direct the Clay County Conservation Board. It's my honor to be here today. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, the Clay County Conservation Board has a lot going on right now. I was asked to give a brief overview on the Oneota Environmental Learning Center. Um, this is a project that we took on in the spring of uh, 2018. And uh, our goal of this project is to develop a 8,000 square foot uh, scholastic learning facility right here in Spencer, Iowa. Uh, we're excited about this project where we can bring uh, a wide and diverse uh, group of students into this facility and train students on the importance of environmental science and natural resources. Uh, unfortunately, over the last about 10 years, we've seen somewhat of a drop off where young adults uh, are losing the values of conservation and we want to combat that with this learning center. Um, so I'd invite any of you to come out to uh, the Oneota campus, um, call our office, check us out online, claycountyparks.com, and learn more on the Oneota Environmental Learning Center. So we're excited about uh, what's to come with that and uh, by all means, if you uh, have any questions on the public awareness and the uh, fundraising campaign, we'd uh, love to visit with you. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us. And this ends our virtual chamber um, annual meeting. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to call our office at 262-5680 or feel free to email us. And that can be to info at spencerioachamber.org. Thanks again and have a great day.